Hello, and welcome to the second video in our UST for Developers series. In this video, we'll be introducing you to the first key element of OpenUSD, the Composition Engine. This feature enables sparse, non-destructive assembly of data from numerous sources as individual layers. So what do we mean when we talk about sparse, non-destructive scene aggregation? In USD terminology, a composed world is called a stage, and it consists of multiple layer stacks that describe different scene elements. For instance, the robot and assembly line in this factory can be defined using multiple data sources, including geometry, materials, physics, and auxiliary information such as sensor data. To understand how sparse, non-destructive overrides work, let's take a look at the example kitchen set scene from Pixar. On the left, we can see the USDA text representation of the scene, which focuses on a flower pot on the kitchen table. The flower pot is defined as a separate file called flowerpot.usd, and it is sent to the modeling variant flowerpot A. Now, let's zoom in on the flower pot and explore how sparse overrides can be used for variants. By authoring the modeling variant to flower pot B, we can swap out the geometry for the flower pot. However, instead of modifying the original source data, we only need to write the modified information to the USDA on the left while retaining the rest of the data from the source. This is how sparse, non-destructive overrides work in USD. Let's take a closer look at the internals of the flowerpot source data, which defines the meshes for both flowerpot A and flowerpot B, and exposes them as a variant set named modeling variant. Even when referenced into the kitchen set, all of this data remains available, which is what we mean by non-destructive. By simply authoring a string for the modeling variant here, we can selectively override specific parts of the source data without affecting the rest. Back in the full kitchen set, we can see in the composed layer stack on the right how the variant selection contributes to the final flower pot composed in the scene. This structure of composition and sparse non-destructive overrides applies to virtual worlds at a larger scale, and understanding these first principles is crucial for working with massive assemblies of scene content that can be navigated by both humans and machine learning pipelines. Now that you understand the basics of USD's composition engine, you can start experimenting with non-destructive layering workflows for scene assembly. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the rest of our USD for Developers series to learn about the other key features of USD. Thank you.